Neil from Essex here to show you a unique implement. Yes, we're out here making a snowblower video in the summer, essentially. Um, but there's some unique reasons for this. This is a different kind of snowblower than most. There's a lot of people who aren't big fans of three-point mounted snowblowers because as you're operating your tractor, you're having to drive backwards in order to drive that snowblower into the pile and you're looking over your shoulder the entire time while you're doing it. It's not the most comfortable implement to run. This is called an inverted snowblower, reverse snowblower, whatever you want to call it, where rather than the opening on the snowblower being towards the back of the machine, this one opens towards the front. As you're driving your tractor along, you're very simply running over top of the snow, and then the snowblower is doing exactly the same function. It's scooping it up and then throwing it out the spout. So you're able to operate this snowblower while going forward, saving you from that literal pain in the neck. Six, a helping hand with your land. There's a handful of configuration options for these snowblowers. One is gonna be the obvious width of the snowblower. The bigger your tractor is, the wider you're going to want it. The other thing is gonna be how the spout here rotates. This is gonna have a hydraulic rotator right here on the side that when I operate the hydraulics on my tractor is gonna spin this from left to right, directing where the snow is going to land. If you don't opt for this hydraulic rotator, you're gonna have a manual screw crank here that's gonna turn this thing whatever direction you like. It's a lot easier to do it from up on the tractor. Because I don't have a rear remote, I opted to plumb these up to my third function so I can use that rocker switch right there in order to direct the direction of this. You'll see a couple of mounting holes around the back here. Those for, are for a pullback plate. If you are a snow contractor and you're clearing driveways, the one thing that this does not do a great job of is being able to clear snow out away from a garage door. It's impossible to bring the snowblower right up against the garage, clear that snow out of the way, and so a pullback plate is offered on some of these that gives you a blade that you can back over top of the snow, drop down, and drive away, pulling the snow away from the garage door. Now, I would opt to do that with my loader bucket generally, right? I can just go up and pull it back. So on my snowblower here, I'm not opting to have that on the rear, but that is an option if you do that kind of work. Now, this video would be a lot better shot if it was the winter time, right? We'd have some snow on the ground out here that we could show you this thing operating. We are going to get there, but we're making this video today for a very specific reason. This is a product that we've always had a lot of interest in, but never been able to sell very many. A lot of the snow equipment that we sell is unfortunately sold at the very last minute when there's a huge snowstorm in the forecast. And this is a really unique piece and is a little bit more expensive than most. And so we generally don't have them sitting in our inventory to have them available for you. But that is changing now. With the YouTube reach that we get, we kind of feel that we could do a little bit of a preseason sale on these snowblowers, and so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to rattle through a couple of prices here for you for about a dozen or so of these things that we have coming in stock here very shortly that we'll be able to get out to you for this snow season. Now, one thing I need to tell you is that we have talked before in other videos about how steel prices are creeping up in significant ways here through COVID. We're starting to see shortages and stuff on a lot of this inventory, and the pricing of these snowblowers is going up about 20% after this first allotment is sold through. So if we run out of any of these SKUs, we probably are still gonna be able to help you, but you might be facing a little bit higher cost than if you get in early with the pricing here that I'm about to give you. What we have coming, if I work from the smallest ones on up, is a 60 inch manual crank without the hydraulic rotator for $48.50, a 68 inch for $54.89, or if you'd like hydraulic options, this one right here is 68 inch with a hydraulic chute rotator for 6,100, or a 78 inch with a hydraulic chute rotator at 69.95. These are around 20% or so more expensive than what the traditional snowblower is with this entire thing reversed. But as you can see, as we've discussed, operating one of these is gonna be a lot more convenient. So you're paying a little bit of a premium for the unique reverse drive gearboxes and having this whole thing engineered in a way that it can be flipped around. If you're shopping for one of these and we can help, there's gonna be links at the bottom here that are gonna take you to our website that have some information about these products. Never is there gonna be a online substitute for talking to an experienced person who knows about your tractor and about these implements. We're gonna have phone numbers and stuff there that are gonna bring you into the store where some 
somebody can talk through, make sure that we get the right size snowblower for your tractor and the right type of hydraulic plumbing to your machine if you're gonna be opting for one with a hydraulic rotator. So if we can help, give us a call. Also available for any other parts of service needs that you have for your equipment, reach out to us at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.